bit more about kind of the campaigns that CPI is working on and how to become more involved in the political and economic processes of San Diego and that's kind of just like what the description was of the internship right on the website. What I expected and since the beginning was um, the idea of economic justice, what to tie it back into my community. I was very green, knew nothing about organizing or really labor or I didn't know much of anything about the subject really. So I'm not sure what I expected. I expected to learn. So if you're running a campaign successfully, you will, see, and if you have this power map up, you will see, you would want to see these, these pieces move in this way. What about opponents? Where do you want them to move? So in the morning till about noon, we have maybe two or three different workshops where people will come in from a different organization. But, uh, getting the drivers to, to see an ability to organize and to unify and giving them a, you know, the opportunity to, to have one voice is a, is, a big, is a big goal and a big step and that's something that we've worked towards. And after lunch we'll go straight to sites. So I'm actually interning at the Labor Council and what I've been doing lately is been working a lot with the Better San Diego campaign. I actually phone banked uh, over 300 people. Uh, just give me a call to invite you to our... He did make uh, about 300 phone calls, give or take, and uh, we did get record turnout for it. So. For voters, um, was awesome talking to people and actually getting to know what their concerns is. If they're like, oh, I'm already registered, or like, oh, I just moved here, then they have to refill out their registration. Um, what How are you doing today? Good. Good. Um, my name is Zainab. And I'm Nancy, and we're here with the Mac. Um, we're just going around and um, we wanted to know if you're um, registered to vote. I'm registered to vote, but I'm registered under the wrong program. Oh, do you want to be registered? I'm too. Great. <laughs> Would you like to register? But I didn't realize there would be such a strong training component to it, so that's kind of something that really surprised me. Hay un numero LAPI de los exámenes que se hacen a los niños de 800. ¿Tienes un flyer en Bolivia? ¿Muchachas no tienen un flyer? Uh, yeah, we're just doing hands-on experience, trying to get parents, you know, surveys, what they think, answers of what they think, engage how they feel to improve the school system here. My favorite part about SCJ um, was um, I really enjoyed the tour um, by Environmental Health Coalition. It's uh, almost like a learning lab, so they've been restoring it. Um, they've been cleaning it up. They've been planting natives and. Uh, their idea is to really just have this natural uh, environment. We're feeding power in our building, and we took on a new class. They did a row. Another class did a row. Obviously, we're out of roof space now, but that's how this got built. We also went to a rally, which was like probably my first time going to a rally, so that was very exciting. Hey, you're the worst! Have people first! Hey, you're the worst! Before I got here, believe it or not, I never even heard of Cecil Chavez. I had no idea before like how hard community organizing can be, but they literally work around the clock and it's so extensive and they've really just been doing a lot and they've taught us a lot and facilitated so much growth in us. So Zainab has been a tremendous uh, asset with Mid City Camp. She's been you know, she came, she came in, we had like one meeting to, to, you know, talk about what she was going to do, her work plan, and immediately she just jumped in and she created the, the petition, the RJ flyers, she coordinated an entire RJ info night, um, she led that, she led the discussion, um, so she just kind of, she jumped in there, she took charge, and uh, we couldn't have done it without her. I'm going to go back to City Heights, um, I'm going to join. EHC's groups at City Heights. Um, that's going to be my permanent group. I'm going to try to pull my friends into it. Myself, you know, I spent four years in LA, so coming back and having this transition and being able to learn more about what's going on in my hometown really it was an empowering experience. Yeah, I actually learned a lot about the history, and that's good. Um, also, more practical things like how to make a wrap or like the fundraising letter that we're doing right now. Things that I'm probably gonna need in the future. Like it's it really has been one of the biggest learning experiences I've ever had. Here I go, bound for freedom. Am I true? Take the lead, not the preacher, not the Congress, not the millionaire, but me. I will organize for justice. I will raise 
my voice in song and our tune. 